for this video, we will be discussing how to add a secondary security gateway to our manager. Or you can say we will be adding our security gateway, firewall 2, to a smart console. In the previous video, we uh, we completed our first time wizard of web UI through a, uh, through a configuring from our Windows 7 PC, which was 192.168.1.120. For this video, we'll be talking between the manager to the secondary firewall. So I'll show you the topology first. And yeah, so we'll be talking from a manager to the secondary firewall. Yeah, so let's configure it. It will not talk because uh, the following reason that this firewall doesn't have a policy that any traffic which is coming from here can't go there because uh, it only has a it only has a policy which says dot 120 going to firewall one or firewall two with these uh, services and application can only pass this firewall means it will only accept that traffic so we have to uh, manually add the second uh, security policy so that our manager can talk to our firewall two okay. So what I will do is jump back to my Windows PC, yeah, and I will pull, I will make it full screen for you guys, yeah, yeah, great, okay. So as you can see, we are we have logged into a smart console, and we have currently two devices. Okay, we have currently two devices, which is Firewall One and Fire uh, Manager Two. Okay, so now what we will do is simply go to Security Policy, and we have already two security policy which is one is clean up rule and let me show you one let let us do some theory part yeah for the clean up rule i will track i will log it okay so it's currently none i will keeping the log okay so i will click on log and now if any traffic drops then uh, we will be having that traffic in the logs okay right now nothing is dropped that's why uh, it doesn't have anything okay so we will try to add it, but it will not end eventually, but we will try to add it and see what all traffics are going down. Okay. So I clicked on gateways and servers and then we will be going and adding just like before. We will be adding the gateway without the security policy to see the difference, to see what all packets are dropping out. Okay. Yeah. So to add a security gateway or to add something, you have to simply click on add. And then it will give you a drop down list. In that, you have to select gateway. Okay, let me remove this epic pen. Yeah. And let's make it full screen. Open the epic pen again because of crash. Yeah, great. And make it full screen. And as you can see, I have a drop down list. And what I have to do is simply click on gateway. And up clicking on gateway, it will prompt me a window that. Do you want to use a wizard mode or uh, let it down? Yeah, it's getting a little bit slow. It's okay because it's uh, it's running on a network emulator. Yeah, so it will prompt me a window of whether you want to use a wizard mode or whether you want to use a classic. Okay, classic mode is that you will get all the information at single page, but wizard mode is like you will uh, get more for information in separate separate pages. So I'll go for wizard mode because it looks cool. No other reason. Okay, so I will give it a name which will be CPFW2, just like 511. Okay, FW2 not at the rate. And my gateway platform as it is in virtual. So I will go for open door. And the IP that I will give is 63.8.0.1.2. And let me click on next. And then it will try to trust communication okay the name is already in use okay i have already created an object with cpfw2 that's why it's not adding i will add zero two because i created it uh, when uh, when i was creating the policy from our windows 7 pc to a firewall so that's why it's not adding because this whenever we add a gateway a object is already a uh, object is created with this thing so i'll click on next and the IP address is already in use by another network object. Yes, it is in use because uh, CPF W2 is using that. 
I don't mind. I'll go and create this object too with the same IP address. And then it will try to trust the communication. In trusting the communication, when we try to put the activation key, it will fail, eventually fail because it doesn't have the permission to reach there. Okay. So yeah, so one time password, my one time password is admin123 and let's initialize the trust and then it will show you that wait, it's trying to communicate with the ports that I, I have discussed what are the uh, six ports that are trying to communicate it's 1819182, yeah, as you can see, failed to connect to the security gateway, why? Because it's not odd. There is no policy in firewall one to allow that traffic. So basically, we have to add it. And for subsidiary part, let's go to our cleanup rule and check our log. And this will be in the cleanup rule. So we'll be checking that. And let me cancel it. Cancel, cancel. And we'll be going to security policy again. It's a little bit slow because it's not my primary PC, that's why. And when we click on uh, security policy, and go to our cleanup route, which is second one. Yeah. And it's loading. It's loading. Some logs are there. That's why it's loading. Okay. One minute. Okay. Okay. Uh, it, it will come in log because I didn't publish that change. That's why it didn't keep. So you have to publish that change. I just forgot to publish it. But it will come in under log. You have to simply publish and install that policy, and it will come whatever the changes had happened and whatever the action means, whatever the traffic which was trying to communicate from our smart console to the firewall two will be dropped, and each and every communication will be showing in our log. So basically, I didn't add, I didn't install. I just clicked on log and didn't publish. That's the lesson from this. You can learn is that publish your changes. If you don't publish it, it will not affect. So for that, I will do one thing. I will add a new route, which which I can add before the cleanup route. So what you have to do is simply right click and new route above this cleanup route. And with the default fields, it will come. So you have to uh, change it. I will go for, yeah. I will go for manager, M-A-N-G-R, which is my basically M-G-N. Okay, it's okay. Okay, and the source will be my manager, and it will be already present in the list. So I have to just uh, click plus the list, and let's see and if it's there. It will be ah uh, yeah, it's there. So one one zero. I will click on small plus, and if it's not there, you can simply add the uh, host from here. Okay, so to the to the destination. Okay, to the destination firewall two. 502 and 501, I will add both of them so that we are safe. And 502 and 501. Yeah, they are good. And I'm giving it for any traffic. I will not be filtering out the traffic because my manager is supposed to uh, communicate with various hosts. That's why. I will simply change the action to accept. Okay. And if you want, you can keep the log. And and the one thing that I forgot previously was to publish it. I will publish it and install it. Okay. There are 16 changes that will be made after this. Okay. And I didn't want to add a description to you waste time. But in corporate, whenever you make some changes to your rules or anything, you have to give it a description for other guys. If you are not only the administrator of this firewall, you should keep a description whenever you make a change so that it will be helpful for others. Okay. So you have to basically make that. Okay. So it's publishing and then there is one small step is to install. After that, we can add this gateway to a smart console. Okay. And it's published, I guess. Yeah. So then you have to simply go to install policy and by default, there's only one. So it will install it on Okay, I will show you how to add. Okay, I will have to publish it. It's okay. Okay, by default, there is only firewall one, so it will publish it in firewall one, and I will go for install. It will take a little bit moment. It 
will be it will be coming at the uh, down at the bottom left it has a status bar till it completes it will be shown here and if you if you want you can open that up by clicking this and you can see whatever the changes that are that have been made and what are the changes that are created so you can see that so it will take time i will continue this video when it completes and we'll be adding the gateway so the, finally the installation is completed now what you have to do is basically jump into our gateways and servers and you have to simply add the secondary firewall okay so we have allowed the traffic so we are good to go now you don't have anything else to do okay uh, let's click on new Gateway, wizard mode, and we'll give the same name because the object is already there. E P F W two, sorry F W two, and I will resolve the name, resolve it from the name, whatever the object is already. Okay, there is no object. Yeah, I will type it manually. Sixty three dot eight dot zero dot one one two. Yeah, next. Need is already used. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't select the platform. I think I have to select open server. And this is EPF zero two. I will create three objects. Okay. I added. I tried to add, but you didn't allow. Oh yeah. We added it. So next, you have to establish the trust. So the one time password is eight. One, two, three. I'll click on next. It will try to establish the connection. So let's see if it initializes. And it failed. Oh my. Okay. Okay, I got the issue. So uh, the issue right here is uh, let me take out my pen to explain you the issue why it failed. We added the policy for our firewall one. We added our policy to firewall one, but the issue was our security manager to access any external network. Its gateway is different. It's not firewall one. To move, it, it's uh, it's the gateway is a different uh, IP. Which is one IP. Yeah, it's it's different IP. So any external network which he is trying to access, he will jump into one dot one, which is not existing in our network. What we have to do is simply change this thing. And change this default gateway to firewall one. For that, we will jump into the web UI of our uh, security manager. Yeah. I will open the same Mozilla and try to access. It's already there. I think. No, it's one one one. Our security manager is uh, one HTTPS colon one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one one ten. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't. Forward slash, yeah, it resolved it. So it's okay. I forgot to put the forward slash. Yeah. So what you have to do is simply log in and change the default gateway, so that if he is trying to access the external network, he will use that gateway. I will add my uh, firewall firewall one as external gateway for him. So, uh, okay, fine. Yeah, it will take time to load. So we have been logged into a machine, and what you have to do is simply go to IPv4 static route, and there will be a default route that any traffic to any other external network, I have to go there. So as you can see, we have a default route of dot uh, dot one, and I will just simply click on this and click on edit, or you can double click it. Or I will simply delete this gateway. So first, I have to add one gateway. Let's add one gateway, which is uh, our firewall, which is dot one 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 yeah and then I will type it one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one 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 yeah okay and I will delete the dot one because it doesn't exist in my network uh, at the time of installation I did that so I will delete it and we'll get on save and that's it we have Gateway as dot one one one. Now, if we try to communicate and initialize the certificate again, 
yes, we have been initialized. Now we got all the uh, Ethernet interfaces. We got the topology, and it's a good sign that we got this. And that's how we added a second firewall. Basically, you have to remember to keep your gateway correct, unless it won't add it. Okay. I'll click on finish, and I will publish these changes. So uh, it's uh, it's added by me and all. Multiple objects are there, and I am okay with that. Do you wish to keep the changes? Yes, I wish to keep the changes. Let it finish. Uh, yeah. Let it finish. And then we have to publish it. Then only the status will be turned into a tick mark, which means we are successful. We have added a firewall to our for, from our security console, or oh, not smart console, you can say security console. Okay, so this is our properties, and we don't want to edit it out right now. We are okay with that. I'll click on OK. No interfaces are okay. Anti scoping, we need an interface. I will talk it in the future video. Warning, updating. Yes, I am okay. Yeah. What you have to do is next is to publish these changes. If you publish these changes, it will be uh, turned into a tick mark here. Yeah, and you have to simply install these changes. Now uh, these changes are made, and I will not write the description, but in corporate you must write a description that you made these changes, so that the other guy who is, if you are the only one, the administrator of this firewall, it's okay. But if some other person is also the administrator. You need to specify. It's a good habit to keep. And let me make it easy. Sorry. It will take some time. And now it's completed. And now you have to basically install the policy. It's a little bit slow because in the previous video, I have uh, said this it's in the virtual environment. It's inside the network simulator. That's why it's an event. That's why. I have given it in a fam, but it's not that much fast. Okay, I will install this policy. So uh, right now we have firewall one and firewall two. Let it install in both of that. I'm okay with that. And I will click on install. And that's it. That's it. It will install and the uh, mark will be ticked. And that's how you add a sec secondary security gateway in a smart console. That's the procedure. So it was needed. That's why I created this video. Okay. Best of luck. Hope you like this video. See a tick game. I hope you like this video. And see you in the next video. Bye bye. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not